Stitchers. I'm back finally. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, what's going on with my hair today? Oh, what a crazy almost two months it's been. Um, for starters, I got a new phone. No more iPhone for me. So, um, got a Android phone, and we'll see how this video goes. I hope. Uh, I hope the editing is easier. So, haven't done much stitching. I've really kind of lost my stitching mojo. Um, I maybe literally put in 10 stitches on my Chatelaine in the last two months, and so I won't even show that. Uh, I started working on this. This is Giovanni's Alphabet by Tempting Tangles. Pardon the needle. It has... Um, I really like it and it has some specialty stitches in it and all of this I guess you call that black work I'm getting better at it this was my first little flower mm, the ones over here look much better so anyway here's the uh, picture of the pattern Again, ugh, I don't think you're going to be able to really see that the whole pattern why I keep picking huge patterns, I don't know. It's like I do with books. I can't read a 200-page book. I have to read a 1,200-page book. So, the only other really stitchy things I've done, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these. I did finally get some sewing done. And uh, I made this ornament. Not the best. I'm not super happy with the twist cord, and that's my second one. I think I need some pearl cotton. I didn't have enough of this with um, some DMC that I had. So I think I may, I just tacked it on. I did, it's not glued or anything. I think I may redo that, but I don't know. It's just for me. So I made one ornament. I try to make one a year. For me, at least, sometimes I do better and I make other people some too. I finished Jack. This was the uh, Stacy Nash Club pattern. Here's the back of it. For the fall, it's a quarterly club. And I finally got the, um, some interfacing because I wanted to fill it. It's got um, sawdust in it. So I finished Jack. He's done. And the other thing that I stitched and actually was a finish finish, I almost wasn't going to show. And truthfully, if anyone out there is an actual <laughs> excellent seamstress, you will probably cringe when you see this. Um, I don't know. I wanted to make a quilted uh, project bag with the autumn, the frost, frosted pumpkin stitchery um, autumn sampler, the mystery one. <coughs> Excuse me. And. I made too many mistakes to even go into uh, on this video, but I did finish it. It is usable. <laughs> it does work. <laughs> the zip no, lesson number one, do not sew too close to the zipper or it will not open. So it's, um, I had to pull seams quite a few times. So this seam is shorter than this one because I didn't, I should have trimmed this one up some more, this side. But I did get to practice with my machine. I'm sure you won't be able to see it. Well, maybe right there. I did a few specialty stitches on my machine with it. And I, if, you seen, if you've seen it on Instagram, I aged the um, pattern. I gave it a tea bath. And while it was wet, I sprinkled instant coffee on it and a little cinnamon. And you put it in the oven for just a few minutes. Be careful. <laughs> you don't want to burn it. And it will burn quickly if you don't watch it. And um, there's batting. Here's the inside fabric. Has pumpkins on it. And I did quilt the back. I just did, une you know, they're not evenly spaced. And that was on purpose. Just straight lines. And all of that worked out fine. But it's crooked. This is crooked. It didn't start out being crooked. But because I had to mess up with the zipper and... It shifted around on me some with the batting. I don't know. 
I think next time, I think every time it will get better. So it's functional. I didn't want to have this just put in a drawer and never look at it again. I want to start making things that I will use. And so I'll use it. And it didn't come out as big as it originally had started, but it'll be okay. Um, so that's really it for the stitching this whole time I've been gone. It's really sad. I just, the holidays are busy. It's been busy at work. And I just haven't felt like stitching. I don't know. I feel overwhelmed with the something. I, I don't know. I wanted to start something small. But we're getting ready to go on vacation. And I didn't, I won't be bringing anything with me. I don't really think I'm going to have a chance to stitch. So, uh, but one of the things I'm going to get to do is visit a local needle workshop where I'm going. So I'm going to just wait and shopping one thing I have done um, I got a few a very few and I'll just show them to you because they're sitting right here I got some Mohs threads in some silks most excited about really three of them are the same thing these three are all Lord Grantham this was the last of the um, Downton Abbey ones that I was missing and then I got just two other kind of random ones. Haven't bought anything. Haven't bought any. So proud of myself. I really haven't. I have bought some stuff, but no cross stitch patterns. However, I have been on eBay. And I'll show you this real quick. This is my stuff's fabric of the month for October. I haven't gotten my November stuff in yet. So it is called Nature's Dance. And let's see, I needed some, I don't even have, I have some big name, uh, like Hobby Lobby and Joanne Fabrics in my area, but no place that really sells quilting fabric. And I love, 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 uh, French General and I love Moda. And so I bought some fabric off of eBay. I haven't unwrapped it yet because I just wanted to show how cute it comes wrapped up. These are some fat quarters. One, two, three. I can't. These are ten fat quarters. And these are reproduction Civil War fabrics, which I love reproduction fabrics. So I got two sets. That set and this that's um got blues and golds and uh, greens in it got those off of eBay and I bought uh, a charm pack set but it's I can't reach it right now and I bought some I needed some Christmas trims and uh, these just came in the mail today so I really haven't looked at them I bought them from a Victorian motto sampler shop on eBay and it came in just this some of it came in a little muslin bag, and the rest of it came in this little organza bag. So, um, I knew what it, I know what it is, but I haven't looked at it yet. She always, if you ever need trims, um, I mean, she has patterns too, but I've only ever ordered trims from her. She always puts a freebie in there. So, she put some chenille trim in a champagne color. This was the free gift. So, these are, uh... Some two different colors of Rick Rack in two different sizes. Here's some green. I'll just try to go through this kind of quick. Buttons. And in the little organza bag, there's more chenille. And little tiny bells. And also, I'll open these and show a few some charms. I should have done this before. A snowflake. And an angel. And here's a little, I'm not going to go through all of them. Here's a little rocking horse. So, all of that was a little Christmas grab bag of um, trims. And uh, I wanted to pick that up. 
So I've got that off eBay too. And then one other thing I got from her is, I'm probably going to butcher how you, I'm not even sure how you pronounce this, a sewing necessaire. I don't know. It's a little... These two things are loose. I'll show you that in a minute. It comes untied, folds up, comes open. This has a little pin on it, a little safety pin, and inside are more charms. The charms that are in here are um, sewing related. And then this has a bigger uh, safety pin on it, and this is for needles. And then also there's rickrack and lace, navy and white. And it came with her floss. It's really pretty. This is flow blue dark. I'm not sure if you can see all the variegation. This is 20 yards. All of her floss is 20 yards. So check it out. And this was my free gift. A couple of yards of some different color blue rick rack so I can't say enough nice things about her and just really quickly I did finally get my order in a month or so ago from um, picture this plus that I ordered back uh, in July and I had ordered some random Karen water lilies because they were on sale too so here are the threads that I ordered I'm a sucker for thread. And here I ordered a few random dinky dyes. And here they, those are. I'm not going to show you the fabric I ordered. It's not exciting really. It's a mostly uh, fabric, fabric for prim things. None of it was opalescent. Um, so that's kind of it. Hopefully next time I come back I'll have some more stitching to show. More to show for two months of uh, work and um, I should have a haul from vacation. So ha happy stitching everybody for those of you that celebrate uh, Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving and I'll see you next time.